Here's example three of using the sum to product formulas. So we have cosine of two theta plus cosine of five theta, and we want to write that as a product. So we just go back to our formula sheet, and if you want to copy this formula sheet, check the uh, video description. There's a link in there. You can click that link and get a copy of this. So here's cosine of something plus cosine of something else. So we're going to use this uh, sum to product formula here. It's kind of cut off from the printer a little bit, but it's uh, cosine alpha plus cosine beta is two cosine alpha plus beta over two times the cosine of alpha minus beta over two. Okay, so that's the formula that we're gonna use. And our alpha is two theta, and our beta is five theta. Okay, so now we're just gonna directly plug stuff into the formula here. So this is going to be uh, two times the cosine of alpha plus beta, which is two theta plus five theta, all divided by two, and then uh, times the cosine of alpha minus beta all over two, so that's gonna be two theta uh, minus five theta all over two. Okay, so then this is uh, two times the cosine of two theta plus five theta is seven theta. So we have seven theta over two. And then here is cosine of two theta minus five theta is negative three theta. So that's cosine of negative three theta over two. All right, now uh, the fractions can't be simplified as we have seven theta over two and negative three theta over two. But one thing we can do that's nice is, uh, remember, cosine is an even function. So cosine of negative theta equals cosine of theta, right? But it's true not just for theta, but for anything that's inside the cosine. So even if it's something more complicated, like negative 3 theta over 2. Okay, cosine of negative 3 theta over 2 is just plain old cosine of 3 theta over 2. So, uh, and remember, that's just because cosine is an even function. It seems like it's really weird, but it's a really nice property that even functions have. So cosine of negative 3 theta over 2 is cosine of 3 theta over 2. So let's zoom back out a little bit. So then the final answer is just uh, 2 times the cosine of 7 theta over 2. Okay, that's a theta. And then times the cosine, let's erase this here, uh, times the cosine of 3 theta over 2. And that's it. So here, all we did was just identify what type of thing we have. We have cosine of something plus cosine of something else. So that tells us we have to use this third formula here, cosine alpha plus cosine beta. And then we just uh, identified alpha is 2 theta, beta is 5 theta, or we could have did it the other way around, doesn't really matter. Um, and uh, anyway, once we uh, did that, we uh, plugged these values into the formula and then simplified, and that's pretty much it. And don't uh, forget to use the uh, even property here. Cosine is an even function. So we want to uh, simplify by using that property there. So that's example three of uh, sum to product formulas.